illegals, freebies, lawbreakers, entitlements, and feckless leaders and sympathizers. Rhinos and Democrats must be dismissed. That's where I stand on this. So okay. in other words, I'm totally opposed to SB 39. Okay. 1139. Thank okay. you. Thank you. And then your constituent, Janet, would like to talk about it. I'm Janet West, and I live in Long Beach, and I'm a consi constituent of Senator Wynn. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank Senator Wynn for not voting for the managed care organization tax. Mm -hmm. um, it did pass, but um, she did not vote for it. And um, I want to, my main uh, issue with this bill is that it will cost more money. And California is already one of the top um, sales of income tax states. And we also hold number one place for the gas tax. Because of cap and trade, we pay 60 cents per gallon extra. We're losing businesses because of all of these taxes. We have one third of the welfare recipients are in California. One quarter of the people who live in California live below the poverty level. California has the highest debt total of all 50 states. We have unfunded CalPERS retirement benefits of 200 billion. We are not concentrating on building more water facilities to help us with our drought. That's one of the areas we should be focusing more attention on. And um, that managed care organization tax was 1.3 billion, which they recently passed, and that will increase all of our health care insurance costs. So I am opposed to any more spending. I want us to concentrate on helping our middle class and our current citizens. And when you do something like this, you encourage more illegal immigrants into the state, and it's just going to create more of a downward spiral. So um, that's why I oppose this bill. And I have a letter here um, requesting that we be able to have some expert witnesses at the committee. So I hope uh, Senator Wynn will give that consideration in helping us achieve that. Okay. And then Mike would just like to say a few words. Uh, yes, I I'm, I'm, would like to say my opposition to uh, SB 1139. Uh, a lot of things that Janet said is what I was going to say. Um, We've got, and as far as Republicans are concerned, I would like to see um, Mrs. Wynn uh, to be uh, in opposition to the Democrats in Sacramento and stop hanging out with them and voting with them. Um, we have to we have to build a, a coalition of Republicans in opposition to just about everything the Democrats are doing. Um, I just saw on the new on Newsmax last night they have something like 400 illegals are being processed into our country every day. Uh, and that's just one spot in Texas. There's a 20, 30 mile stretches of the, of the border that there's no border guards at all. So we're talking about a s tiny fraction of the illegals that are flooding into this country. Since the first of the year, there's been 25,000 uh, Cubans that have been led into this country via Mexico City. They're, they're flown in from to Cuba, Mexico City, and across the border in Texas. There's a massive uh, flood of illegals, and to 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 have the, this kind of stuff is is it's beyond stupid. It's just you know, and like I was heard that that not only that our te our California deficit is like 1.2 or something trillion, so we're buried alive in debt. And in Sacramento, Ricardo Lahr and all his buddies are trying to figure out better ways to spend money when we don't have any money. So that's it. 